hello and welcome to the Quora Map Studio in this video I will show you how to integrate the PayPal payment gateway into our application for checkout process I have opened an e-commerce project and the, uh, the product page okay uh, in this simple e-commerce app I'm going to add the product into my shopping cart and here is my shopping cart in my shopping cart there are uh, there is one product with a total of 30,000 I want to check out this 30,000 using PayPal okay let's uh, have a look out at uh, PayPal what is the PayPal PayPal is a simple banking service or you must say it is an online payment engine which will transfer the fund from one account to another account okay in the simple words whenever I click on this checkout button the amount of 30,000 rupees will be deducted from any person who is going to check out this card and will be added or deposited into the account of the website owner or the uh, business which is running this website okay first of all we have to look how does PayPal work okay PayPal work very simply PayPal provides us an, uh, a link or a simple web request or a URL to process our payment. This is the very simple method. In other method, PayPal provide us a simple script and many other other APIs to process payment. But this is the very simple method. In this method, we are just going to understand how payment uh, PayPal payment engine works. Okay, I have copied this URL and going to paste this is a URL if I'm going to this URL okay this URL this will open the website of PayPal sand, uh, sandbox dot PayPal sandbox is an account which you can use while development because in the development there are many errors and if uh, by the mistake or due to an error uh, you stuck into a loop or something happened or badly uh, you have done some mistake all the amount of your uh, all the amount in your account will be transferred to someone else account so uh, you are not intending to do this in the development process so people have created a sandbox account for that in the sandbox this is only the testing purpose website to integration testing and simple payment testing okay this will go to sandbox account and when you are finalize your development you will remove this sandbox word from the url and you will be using the actual paypal engine and actual paypal gateway okay and when clicking on this paypal dot uh, this url this will go to paypal.com and there cgi bin and then it will create a web request with some parameter the first parameter is the command the command cmd means the command the x click uh, uh, the user have clicked the button okay simple command another parameter uh, which is concatenated by using and operator okay the amount whenever you have to pay someone uh, you should definitely know how much you have to pay okay this is the amount you will going to pay okay i have simply hard coded the payment into method and third thing is the business to whom to to what person you are going to pay so here you need a business account a business account means the person who is going to receive the payment okay you have to create a business account to receive the payments okay i have already created a business account with name of Janjua tailors okay this is the business account which will going to receive and the uh, fourth parameter is the name of the item you are going to sell okay i'm going to sell the men's suit not men's suit i'm going to sell the electronics items okay item and this is the page where you will land or where you will go after a successful payment so i have to create a success message or success page uh, to notify the user you have successfully made the payment okay now i'm going to pay the only uh, 200 dollars paypal work in dollar because 
it is not allowed in pakistan so we have to convert our amount into the dollars and then we will pay so i'm going to simply pay the amount of 200 dollars to the jenjua tailors by selling the electronic item and i will return to the page any page i will going to add this later okay i'm going to enter this url it will go to the paypal website but the testing website the sandbox website and ask you you have to pay 200 dollars and enter your email so you should have a working client account or simple the user account with the paypal to pay the amount i have already my account here so i can simply check out this using here okay this will simply log in to your account okay login i'm going to log in in this way you can pay any amount okay whenever the successful payment have made it will return uh, your page uh, return to the page you have discussed or mentioned in the paper api okay simple now i have all the setup ready i have to simply add this url on click event of this page okay this will be simple a link which will go to this page, uh, that page of paypal and going to make payment okay whenever this is payment this will take some time because paypal is a banking site and we will be busy okay securely logged in uh, yes you have to pay this amount by using this credit card and to this and whenever you click the continue button okay pay now this will process your payment and pay anyone you want to pay okay you have paid us dollars okay now this thing i have to do with my application i have to add this link which i have used here to this and i have to make some dynamic changing because every time the user on my website will have different total so i have to care about the total okay simple i'm going to take this url again and embed into my application okay first of all you need to find out which page you are going to add this link uh, i am in shop controller so my page should be exist in the shop folder okay in the shop folder i have a shopping cart with a link i have to find the link the link is the proceed to checkout link okay i'm going at the end of the page because i know this okay here this is the proceed to checkout button or a link okay this is a simple hash uh, it means that you are not going anywhere by clicking on this button okay i have to bake some dynamics in the in the url so i will concatenate this in my razor syntax i am creating a string type of url and copy this url here okay i will make some changing here okay I'm changing, I'm not changing the table.com here, web request, come on, but I will change the amount. I'm not going to pay 1000 or 1 lakh every time because I have different amount. I've already total all the amount in here, so I can use this here. Okay, I'm going to add a bracket, I'm going to add add sign and the total amount. And this is the problem we are taking our product in the rupees and we have to make the payment in the dollar so i have to convert this into our uh, into our so i'm going to have the current rate i'm going to write dollar, uh, usd to pkr simple and 
one Pakistani uh, one dollar is equal to one sixty and something I have copied this code here and you may make it dynamic using web API web API will convert automatically your amount into dollar okay is it here now every time I have a total awesome amount and this total this total will always convert it into this total always convert it into dollars and then here you have to change after creating your account with the paypal your business account you have to change uh, this account here okay i am my i have my account by this name so i'm using this okay the item name you are not selling the man so you are selling the electronics items mm. okay and whenever this is successful you are going you are, have to go to a page which will show you that you have successfully paid or something order confirmed and something text like that okay I have to create a page and paste it here okay I have to create a page for creating a page I have to add a public action result into I'm going to add the page in my shop control because in shop control I have to add an action result of copy this and create it checkout uh, rename it to checkout and it will return a method okay this is the checkout and i'm going to add the view for that checkout page okay i have checkout empty type template scaffolding it will take some time okay this is our checkout page okay in the checkout page i'm going to have some code to show that a simple notification that you have paid successfully okay i'm going to have a div of uh, container the container means the margin from the slides okay i'm going to have h1 of h1 uh, payment confirmed created the page now I can have the ex address of that page okay this is the page I'm going to view in my browser to get the URL of this page and I have to paste that URL here It will take some time to load the page uh, I have opened the page and this is going to look like this page the payment confirm method whenever you see this page it will be definite that you have paid something now and I'm going to copy this is the URL of this page and adding this here in my shopping cart whenever the payment is successful I will return to this page which is on the local host uh, for real hosting this will be different for example whenever uh, uh, check out process whenever the checkout process is complete you may land on the thras.com page or any page similar to that but i'm running this application on localhost this will be returned here and in my checkout page okay i have already all the things because i have changed i have made changes in in the code uh, of the shop controller I have to recompile this application uh, I'm going to build this application again build has been started whenever I see the build successful page okay build succeeding now I can run my page again I will I'm going to run the 
product page again okay uh, i'm going here and navigate to my products page because i have recompiled my application session will be empty and i have to add the products again into the cart and again for the checkout process okay i have my products open i'm going to purchase an LED tv uh, at cart okay i have to pay 30000 to the uh, uh, seller which i have mentioned here the seller of then what tell because i have embedded in the website okay now i'm going to click on the proceed okay uh, nothing here because i have created the request a url but i'm not called anyway okay i'm going to call this here okay now the complete url will be called here okay save the page and i'm closing this application I'm going to refresh my page okay this is the page now shopping cart refresh okay now when i click on the proceed to checkout button it will go to paypal and after the successful login it will back to our page so paypal is going to take some time while loading okay uh, uh, 30,000 is converted into the dollars by using that rate we have copied uh, to our application and now I'm going to check this out by continuing okay now I have to pay and click pay button okay you have paid because I was already logged into my account so I don't have to log in again but in your scenario you have to log in first time to make this payment and whenever you see this payment successful method you may return to the merchant website for invoice and other okay payments confirm uh, you can show here the invoice or the billing uh, details here uh, I will going to have all these features later I'm also going to send the email and message confirmation on successful payment thank you for watching